solve one problem on heat transfer through hollow cylinder with internal heat generation we will read the given question a long hollow cylinder has inner and outer radii as 5 cm and 15 cm respectively it generates heats at the rate of 1 kW per meter cube where k is equal to 0.5 watt per meter kelvin if the maximum temperatures occurs at radius of 10 cm and temperature of outer surface is 50 degrees celsius find first temperature at inner surface second maximum temperature in the cylinder let us understand the given data with the help of diagram this is the case of hollow cylinder in here inner radius and outer radius is given for the hollow cylinder so this radius is given in centimeter in calculation we have to use standard unit that is meter so for inside radius we will use here r1 that is equal to 5 cm so we will draw the circular cross section so here is r1 that is 0.05 meter and r2 that is the outer radius 15 cm so here this is r2 which is equal to 0.15 meter then maximum temperatures occurs at r is equal to 10 cm and that is given so we have to draw here one circular section for r m because why to the base m because at this radius maximum temperature is there so in between this 15 cm and this 5 cm radius we have to draw here one circle and at this r m there is maximum temperature so we will mention here here is t max then the temperature at the outer surface is also given that is 50 degree celsius so we have to mention that so we will use here to so here to is equal to 50 degree celsius this is the case of internal heat generation so qg is given qg is 1 kw per meter cube but standard unit is watt so we have to use qg is equal to 1000 watt per meter cube in calculation conductivity k is also given so for this hollow cylinder what is the conductivity of material 0.5 watt per meter cube now here the heat transfer is taking place with the case of internal heat generation so we have to use the poisson's equation to solve this question we will first develop the temperature distribution equation so how to develop the temperature distribution equation so for that we will start from the poisson's equation so for the cylindrical system what is the poisson's equation 1 by r into d by dr r dt by dr which is equal to minus qg by k now we will simplify this i will transfer this r to the right hand side so d by dr into r dt by dr which is equal to minus qg by k into r now what is the first step so for the poisson's equation we have to take the integration on both the sides so when we take the integration on both the sides here d by dr and integration will be getting cancelled because d by dr that is differentiation and this integration will be getting cancelled so on the left hand side we have to write r dt by dr as it is which is equal to now qg by k we have to take as a constant that is minus qg by k we have to take the as a constant and integration of r dr so what is the integration that is r square by 2 plus we have to refer here constant of integration that is c1 now again next step is that we have to again simplify this dt by dr and then we will take the integration now if we observe on the left hand side here is r so we will transfer this r to the right hand side so there are two forms that is if i transfer this r to the right hand side then for this first term r square and r in the denominator there is r so r r is getting cancelled and for this c1 second term there is r in the denominator so dt by dr is equal to minus qg by k r by 2 plus c1 by r now this is the simplified form and we will take the integration on both side with respect to r so this dt by dr integration of dt by dr so this 
differentiation and this integration will be getting cancelled. So t is equal to. Now here minus qg by k we will take as it is because constant. Now r by 2. So for this r by 2, 2 also we will take outside this. Now what is this r? That is r dr that means r square by 2. And this 2 multiplied by 2 that is 4. So r square by 4 plus. Now c1 by r. Now here c1 is constant of integration. We have to take as it is. And 1 by r. So what is the integration of 1 by r? That is ln r. So this ln term is available in the calculator. So we can use in calculation as it is ln r plus again we have to take the second constant of integration because this is the second time integration. So plus c. Now we have to develop the temperature distribution equation. So how to develop? So for that we have to first find out the unknown values c1 and c2. So how to find out these values? So we have to apply the boundary conditions. If we observe this diagram here two temperatures are available. First one at radius Rm that is at 10 cm temperature T max is there and at radius 15 cm temperature 50 degrees Celsius is given. So we will use boundary conditions for radius Rm and temperature is T max and second boundary condition radius R2 and temperature is 50 degree Celsius. Now if we observe at maximum temperature the value of dt by dr. So if we take the differentiation with respect to r then this value dt by dr is equal to 0. So this is the condition that we have to use for this maximum temperature. So at r is equal to 10 cm that is when r is equal to rm then t is equal to t max and therefore dt by dr is equal to 0. So there is one unknown value that is c1 and we have equation. So this equation for dt by dr and there is c1 term is also there. So if we have to find out this value of c1 then we have to put this boundary conditions. So I will give here this equation number 1 and if I put all these boundary conditions. So we have to put dt by dr is equal to 0 which is equal to minus qg by k. So what is the value of qg? That is minus 1000 divided by k. Conductivity 0.5 r by 2. So r is 10 cm. So we have to use here as a 0.1 meter divided by 2 plus c1 by r. Plus c1 divided by 0.1. Now we have to solve this. So we will solve this by with the help of calculator. So if I transfer this whole term to the left hand side then it will become plus. So I will uh, take here 1000 divided by 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.1 divided by 2. So here is 100 and if I uh, this minus 100 we have to transfer to the left hand side and then we have to multiply with 0 0.1 that is 10. So what is the value of C1? So C1 value is 10. Therefore C1 is equal to 10. Now we will move for the second boundary condition. So what is the second boundary condition? At R is equal to R2 temperature T is 50 degree Celsius. So we will write here at R is equal to R2 that is 15 centimeter T is equal to 50 degree Celsius and for this boundary condition we have to refer the value of C1 that is equal to 10. So we will apply this boundary condition in the second equation that is for the temperature. So for this T I will write here as a second equation and we will put all the values. So at T is equal to 50. So I will write 50 is equal to QG by K. So minus 1000 divided by 0 0.5 R square by 4. So R is 50. So 0 0.50 square by 4 plus C1 that is 10 ln R. So ln R that is 0 0.50 plus C2. So here only one unknown term that is C2 and we will find out this C2 by solving this. So if we solve all this then we will get the value of C2 that is equal to 80.22. So we will get these two values C1 and C2. 
Now if we put these two values C1 and C2 in equation number 2 then we will get the temperature distribution equation. Temperature distribution equation is T is equal to minus QG by K R square by 4 plus 10 ln R plus 80.22. Now we will move for the first question. We have to find out temperature at inner surface. So here this is the inside radius R1 and temperature at this inside radius we will consider as a Ti. And we have to find out this. So how to find out? So at Ti R, R is equal to R1 that is equal to 5 cm that is 0 0.05 meter. So we have to refer this instead of R we have to put the value of R1 0 0.05 meter and for T we will put the value of Ti. So Ti is equal to minus QG by K 0 0.05 square by 4 plus 10 ln 0 0.05 plus 80.22. Now this QG is 1000 and conductivity K is 0 0.5. So we will put value if we solve this we will get 6.25 into 10 raised to minus 4. And if we solve this 10 ln 0 0.05 then we will get minus 29.95 plus 80.22. Now if we solve this right hand side then we will get the temperature that is Ti is equal to 49.02 degree Celsius. And this is the answer of first question. Now we will move for the second question maximum temperature in cylinder. So if we observe here is the maximum temperature in the cylinder that is T max when R is equal to R n. So we will say that when T max is there then we have to refer R is equal to 0 0.1 meter. So instead of R we have to put here 0 0.1 and for T we have to take here T max. When we put all the values then we will get the answer T max is equal to 52.19 degree Celsius. And this is the answer of second question.